Uh, hi, my name's Lewis. All right, I've got a piece of 12 inch by 12 inch armor plate here. It's uh, measures 0.26 inches in thickness. And Linex makes a coating called the uh, Paxon coating. I think it's uh, PG2100 or something like that, or PX2100. So it's kind of like a rhino liner uh, for your truck bed, but they claim that it's anti-ricochet. In order to uh, verify that, we're going to shoot at it with the uh, 7.62 by 39 out of this AK-47. And we're going to find out if it ricochets or not. This is, this is how we find out, by shooting at it. Alright, so I put it inside this box. So if there's any shrapnel that comes off of that bullet, we'll, we should be able to see it, uh, you know, by perforations in the box. Okay, here we go. Alright, this is a, a real informal test because the whole crew here is working. We're real busy today, but I'm, you know we got to figure this out. Um, so I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna set the camera over here, and we're gonna go. All right. Here we go. All right, uh, we hit it dead center. I hit it dead center. Looks like it tore a hole in that rhino liner. And it looks to me like we did get some ricochet off of that because there's a perforation here and here and here. There's a piece of metal here. Yeah, Looks like three spots. Did you get something on you? Yeah, I got hit a couple times. What'd you, what'd you hit? Right here. It's a little... So you got hit in the arm? Yeah. Did I got you? hit a couple times in the arm. Not, nothing bad, though. Really? Yeah. Okay, so... It's not really anti-ricochet. Your but. air thing works way better, I feel like. <laughs> LC air gap. Yeah, is anti-ricochet, but I think it was LC just air gap works that. better. <laughs> LC air gap doesn't let anything out. It contains everything. This thing let a few a few shrapnel pieces out. All right, that concludes the test, and uh, thanks for watching.